loving older brother, <laughs> I've always tried to protect her, whether she wanted it or not. When Jess and Pat asked me to officiate their wedding, I eagerly said yes, but with a couple stipulations. First, that Jess and Pat always dance in arms width apart with the hands on each other's waist. <laughs> Actually, this kind of works perfect. <laughs> Second, that Jess move her garter from her thigh to her forearm, <laughs> which she apparently didn't do. <laughs> All joking aside, I've always wanted the best for my little sister, and if I were to dream, create some man for Jess to marry, there's no way that I could have come close to the man she found in Pat. He truly is the perfect guy for her. Today, Jessica stands before us as a beautiful bride that we all know and love. I am happy to say that Jessica has found her best friend, her soulmate, her knight in shining armor. One could even go as far as say that she has found her butter sauce for her lobster. <laughs> Jessica and Patrick, you're fortunate to have found one another while going to school here in Slow. Lifelong companionship with your best friend is a wonderful treasure and it should be celebrated every day. Your marriage is meant to serve as a basis for everlasting friendship. May you find all your days ahead to be greater, happier, and more rewarding than you could have ever imagined. There are no limits to what you could accomplish together. Know that when the challenges of life weigh heavy on your well-being, you will always find refuge in each other's arms. In marriage, it is important to remember that the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands and Pinocchi. <laughs> it is remembering to say I love you every day. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the entire family. It is nurturing a loving environment where happiness can flourish. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is, giving, it is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is establishing a relationship in which independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the commitment is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Jess and Pat requested that I tell a story of how I realized they were a perfect match and when I knew that this day would come. As I thought about it, I realized that it wasn't just one day or one event. It's been every single thing that I've witnessed between these two. From the occasionally irritating way they always call each other honey and sweetie, <laughs> to the way they kiss so loudly that everyone can hear the Mwah! across the room. It's the way that Jess tries to stay awake watching the Dodgers games, <laughs> and the way Pat always drives so Jess can get her sleep. <laughs> It's the way Jess rubs Pat's shirtless back and the way Pat smiles when he tells stories of Jessica's quirky habits. In short, they simply compliment each other in all that they do. Before they exchange vows, Jess and Pat would like to share a few words they have prepared for one another. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> uh, I uh, just gotta say that I I love everything about you. I I think I love most coming home and seeing you after a long day at work and sharing those big long hugs. And I love your smile, your attitude. You're such an amazing person, and everybody. Everybody who's around you feeds off of your energy and it's always positive. 
and I think my most favorite moments are the ones that we share when we're across the room from one another. We don't speak, but we, our eyes kind of meet, and we just smile. And I look forward to sharing many moments like that with you for the rest of our, the rest of our lives. Love you, sweetie. <laughs> All right. Um, so. <laughs> What I love most about Pat is his amazingly big heart. He's so compassionate and um, engaging and friendly towards everyone. And his attitude about life is contagious. And I've grasped it to the full extent. And um, I just, I love you. Like, you make me, every day, I couldn't ever think that I, I needed to be more whole, but every day I feel more whole with you. You sort of complete me in a way that I didn't realize I could be complete. And when I look at you, I see my husband and I see a dad. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. 